mercy on your souls. Oui, effectivement, il y a un petit air du manga Berserk et même de Clémor pour ceux qui connaissent. Hey, c'est Mir de Gambiland, j'espère que vous allez bien. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour la sortie de Solstice, dispo dès maintenant le 20 septembre 2022 sur PlayStation et Xbox. C'est un Beats and all développé par les Italiens de chez Reply Game Studios et édité par Modus Games que je remercie avec Just for Games pour l'accès anticipé du jeu. C'est un jeu qui se veut ambitieux, on n'est quand même pas sur un triple A, mais ils affichent carrément la couleur pour un double A et je peux le comprendre. L'univers est très intéressant, on a vraiment envie de parcourir toute cette histoire chaotique et tragique qui est, je vous préviens, très longue pour ce type de jeu. Le gameplay est très sympa, les personnages et l'ambiance Dark Fantasy nous rappellent forcément, comme je vous l'ai dit au début de la vidéo, à Berserk et Claymore, ce qui n'est pas pour me déplaire. A noter par contre les trucs qui fâchent, la caméra des fois à l'ouest, la perspective un peu foireuse qui fait forcément défaut lors des passages plateforme, et pour terminer, la technique. Alors les graphismes sont sympas, mais les textures qui chargent pendant les cinématiques, non merci, ça va. Et d'ailleurs, ces dernières sont bloquées à 30 fps même quand on passe en mode performance du coup j'ai préféré opter pour le mode qualité en 4k natif même si cela nous fait perdre quelques frames au final je me suis très bien amusé et je pense que si le jeu marche bien il y a moyen qu'on ait droit à un solstice 2 allez fini la parole place au jeu je n'ai plus qu'à vous souhaiter un bon visionnage et si ça vous plaît n'oubliez pas d'acheter le jeu bisous The world was subjugated by chaos. Then the keepers came to be torchbearer, shaper, and judge. The three fought the spawn of chaos, and ultimately they prevailed. Chaos could be banished, but it could not be destroyed. So the Keepers weaved a veil with their own essence and stood guard. The world was now safe, but it was also empty and meaningless. Thus, the Keepers reached beyond the veil. They seized the power of chaos itself. They gave it shape and purpose. They created life, and man was their most perfect creation. But all life would eventually hear the call from beyond the veil. Thus it happened that, alongside life, death also came to the world. The great cycle was set in motion. Yet chaos hungered for more and sought to undo the Keeper's creation. The spawn of chaos struck, wounding the Keepers and tearing the veil. Endless droves of horrors trespassed into the world. And so came the solstice of souls. Hurt and weak, the Keepers charged man with defending the world. They inspired man to fight fire with fire, ferocity with ferocity. Driven by the infinite wisdom of the Keepers, man turned the very power of chaos against it. Through sacrifice and resolve, a breed of sacred warriors was created. Three were wounds in the essence of the Keepers. Three the mighty battles fought and won by the champions of man. Three the sacred cities that were built in those hallowed places. Eventually, the solstice of souls was put to an end. The three cities still stand to this day for the glory of the keepers. While the memory of the sacred warriors has been lost to time. 
But while the mortal body must perish, that which is immortal is found to be reborn. too enthusiastic. Someone here is more than eager to welcome us. Set a small tear. Not that the world's veil ripped apart. Look, there, above the cathedral. Ilden. One of the three capitals. The seat of the torchbearer. Once the light of the kingdom. Now it burns. I can't do this. To them, we are just briar and loot. The upcasts. I see. This is our chance to prove ourselves. We can't waste it. Anyway, uh, we're late. Can you sense the others? The echo of the dead is just too strong. It dulls my senses. Loot, you need to focus. Forgive me. I will do better. 
Whatever ripped open the veil must be powerful. Let's look for our observer. He should be able to tell us more of what transpired here. Then we best find him quickly. This the judge's mercy then. What was that? I felt the tear itself. It's growing. While all life must perish, that which is immortal is bound to be reborn. But the Shaper had no hand in your creation. Did he, sweet sisters? You're our observer? I am Leighton. I am here to assist you. How exactly? An observer's talents won't be of much help in this fight. Oh, I fight for the Order of the Ashen Blade in my own way. My presence here is proof enough of my worth. You, on the other hand, are said to be unstable unruly, and unwilling to follow orders. Our fame precedes us. Why do you taunt us? Your shade is speaking. And to me, how quaint. Somehow, your authority as an observer is not enough to silence her. What happened here? A tear opened, clearly. Its cause is unknown, but it's the largest yet seen and, I do believe, getting larger still. I doubt the Order will be able to hide this one from the masses. And once it was open? Many were corrupted, 
others were possessed. They saw to the rest. The Order did not foresee it this time. That is why you were called. You and your two comrades. Three chimeras. At least the Ashen Blade is sparing no effort now. Well, two chimeras and you. So caustic. Where are the others? Strangely, those two did not wish to wait for you. You should hurry. Find them and help them. If you can. <laughs> Don't scowl at me. I can offer powerful assistance if you do well. Then let us pray you remain safe. Indeed. May the torchbearer light your way. May the dead show you mercy. And may the Shaper grant you fortune in this life. If that's what you can call it. The freight elevators will take you where you need to go. Good. Perhaps you will prove us all wrong. I will be watching. Despite my weakness. That power was immense. It's not your fault. Then whose fault is it? You saw. I almost. If I gave in to the corruption inside me, you'd be lost. I won't allow it. You resisted. No other chimera could have done that. No other chimera with a damn corrupted as a knight, you mean. For good, I'd wager. We might be the only ones left to fight it. Be on guard then. We may have to deal with it sooner or later. Ethereal resident from the tear. It bears the taint of the corruption. We can shatter them if we work together. Let me focus my energy. <laughs> The guards sealed the gates. Trapping the people inside. They tried to contain the corrupted and failed.
What was it? I can't tell, but those traces may just let us see what happened. Never seen the knights acting like this before. Me neither. Whatever's in there must be really valuable. You try to steal it then. I'm staying here. Whatever it is, it feels like the judge's breath on my neck. Shut up, they'll hear you. Soldiers, the next one of you who speaks will be flogged. The one after that will be hung. The one after that, courted. Have I made myself clear? Good. The soldiers of the Order, they were afraid. Yes. But not of the night, regardless of their threats. Easy now, easy! Not my choice to come this way, is it? I like it no more than you do. Settle down. Even the animals were restless. They could sense the danger too. This echo is so vivid. The dead are screaming all around us. But this cuts through it all. It left a deep scar on the ether. That scares me the most. Halt! In the name of the Triarchy and the Shining City of Ilden! The Ashen Blade. Huh. What is your business here? We carry a gift. From the Grand Master of the Order to the High Clergy of Ilden. Is that all? We are expected at the Cathedral of Guiding Light. We had no advance notice of your arrival. You can't just show up and... Our papers speak for themselves. Here. Now let us in, if you care for your useless job. And your worthless life. Just let them in! It's not worth dying for! F fine uh, Good, good sir. Uh, of course. You may pass. May the torchbearer light your way. Well, this is the City of Light. Is it not? Now I understand. The aura I feel. The one that left this echo. It came from inside that armored carriage. Can you tell me what was inside? I can't see inside. The carriage is lined with something. It's dulling my perception, so this was done on purpose. By someone who knows the Order, who knows its secrets. You mean... Us. The Chimeras. I think so. That carriage is at the heart of whatever happened here. Then we have to find it. And soon. Whatever it's doing here might not be finished. Show up at last. If this is all part of the Keeper's grand design, the cleansing fire of the Torchbearer, the Judge's mercy, a chance for the Shaper to craft this city anew, one can't help but wonder. Isn't it sacrilege for any but the bishops to guess? True, but most of the clergy here are dead. So I doubt they mind. Though, something else piqued my curiosity. 
Did you feel that shockwave? We did. Tell me about it. Did you manage to track its source? It originated from the cathedral, but... I was conferring with your knight. But I suppose it's too much to expect silence from you, isn't it? Judge have mercy on me. Speak, then. I sense the two other chimeras. I think they're dead. Dead because of someone or something they were fighting against. The shock or was a result of their clash. Then they were all gone. It is most troubling. That is all you have to report. Yes. Our predicament just got a lot worse. But fear not. The Order of the Ashen Blade sent word that reinforcements are on the way. My good friend Corvo here brought the good news. <coughs> Meanwhile, we are ordered to continue to follow the plan. Empty words. So let your actions fill them with meaning. Proceed towards the tear. Stay alive and look for the other chimeras. Or what's left of them. Seal it. We might not have enough time. Soon it will be too strong to seal. There will be nothing to do. We can't wait for reinforcements. We're on our own in there. blocked. There must be another way into the city. We did it, sister. Sister, are you well? Yes, but it was far stronger than I could imagine. 
It must have been a formidable opponent, even as a human. Enforcements have arrived. How can they be ahead of us already? There's only one camera it can be. And he's right above us. Let's hurry then. It is him. to see you here in Elbit. I'm Moot, and this is Briar, my sis. I know who you are. Man, I know that you're not up to the challenge that awaits you. We didn't exactly volunteer for this mission, you know. I am well aware of it. You are not just lambs sent to the slaughter. You're no ordinary chimera, and that makes things much more complicated. Care to explain? As I said, I know who you are. What you are, Briar. A corrupted? You may as well say it plainly. Sister, I don't think that Sir Donovan meant it. And I know how burdensome gossip can become, believe me. With your condition, it implies that you both carry a grave responsibility. Is this about the tear in the sky? Exactly. It drives the spawn of chaos to trespass into our world. But it also calls to us chimeras. The call must be especially strong for you two. You must be careful, or you won't meet death, but transcendence. 
losing yourself to the chaos coursing through you. So it's true. Not just some sort of legend to scare the troops. For us chimeras, it's a fate far worse than death itself. Is that what happened to those who came before us? Let us hope they simply passed away. Now, we should get back to the mission. We need to clear the way ahead. I suggest that we split up to cover it all. For the rest of the reinforcements joining you? The reinforcements. Agreed. We will meet again within the walls. Torchbearer, like your path. Thank you, sir. We will do our best. Remember our training. Yeah. <laughs> 
Looks like we did. be enough. I've got enough splinters in my fingers for today. You get to carry them home. Loot? Every time. Can't you help just once? from the forest for, for mother. I was always dreaming, so Briar had to be the responsible one. If you always use the same hiding place, you'll always find me. That's the idea. You should be doing your chores. Will you tell Mama? <laughs> no. I got enough firewood, but next time... What were you doing? Well, I did everything I know. This! I chose only the most beautiful flowers. You like it? Mama will like it. Oh. I made it for Papa. Our Papa? You're mocking me! No. No. He likes my strings of rabbits, so why not your wreath of flowers? Your rabbits are useful. You'll think this is silly. No, it's not. You made it, so he'll love it. I... Thanks. I, I hope so. I'm not sure. Cries? From our village. Let's go back, Lute. Stay close to me. It was always peaceful under that oak. My sanctuary. But not this day. I know this day. Nothing can save us. Something's wrong. Mama! Papa! No! Marie! We can't stop now! Stay close to me, Lute! Judge, have mercy. I... I don't want to see it again. Something is over there. Who are 
you. Don't give him. You're dead. No. I'm right here with you. I'm with you. It hurts. Kill them all. was that? <sighs> My head. Please be still. You need to recover. That was a strong threat we faced. And may yet face again. Don't bite your tongue to spare me. I took a risk. Donovan warned us. What if we had transcended? We didn't. That power saved us, Loot. We need it. Donovan said that it was dangerous. That we aren't ready. I say we will be. I can learn to control it, Loot. Trust me. I... I am sure that you will do your best, sister. But tell me... When you passed out... Do you remember anything? I was caught in a nightmare. I was home before. You were still alive, Lute. I'd almost forgotten it. The oak meadow. I missed the smell. You were there? Inside my mind? I was with you. I saw what you felt. We bear our pain differently. And yours runs deeper than even you know. <sighs> you need not bear it alone. We are stronger together. Some things are my own. Some things you should not have to see. Sister. Anyway, we have wasted enough time already, Loot. We must... Seal ourselves for battle. They're coming. Good. They'll see what I... What we are capable of. You're with me? Always. Show yourselves, you wretches. like this before. It's intoxicating. If we can control it like this, it will. We might... Transcend? Lose ourselves forever? 
We'll be careful. We'll wield it, not let it control us. Agreed? Yes. Yes. We'll be careful. <laughs> Dear sisters, it seems you're not dead. If I had been able to place a bet, I would have lost. Crows, alas, are poor company for a betting man, and worse for conversation. I don't understand where this is going, but I doubt I'll like it. Come, regale me with a tale about the formidable possessed you faced. You were watching. I am an observer, after all. Anyway, it looked like it might not go your way for a moment. It was not easy, but we prevailed. That's what matters, isn't it? I wonder what happened that turned the battle in your favor. Not everything can be learned in Doran's training grounds. Quickly. Or you're just running faster towards your inevitable demise. If there's nothing else, Donovan awaits us. You met Sir Donovan the Shadeless. Yes, he has just arrived. Scouting ahead before the rest of the reinforcements reach Ildan. Has he not reported to you, Leighton? No. Not yet. He's a veteran. He doesn't answer to a dear observer. I suppose you envy him, Briar. A battle-hardened knight. A lone wolf. Follow him in battle. By all means. But remember, you do answer to me. <laughs> Judge's wisdom, dear sisters. He was bluffing. I don't believe he even knew Donovan was here. I am more troubled that he wants us to spy on him. We shouldn't linger here. What is this? I've never seen anything like it. It looks like a shockwave. Frozen in crystal formation. But more than that, it's infused with traces of a powerful aura. An echo. How can this be? We were betrayed. They used us! They sent us to our death! Ah! An explosion? It was massive. I can see that. So our trail ends here? It does not. I recognize an aura. The one I felt on the bridge. It caused the blast as it broke free. I couldn't tell before because of the lead carriage. Now I'm sure. This is what the other Chimeras fought. Fought. And lost. What is this thing, Loot? A rake could not have been caged in the first place. 
It must be a possessed. Even stronger than the one we faced earlier. But why did they bring it here? Did they even know? They did as they were told. They were slaughtered. Or they were... sacrificed. We need to find out why. Such a vulgar display of power. Did you even dispose of them? We were just having some fun. Anyway... Either they got blasted, or they lie dead beneath the rubble. Seems like it. But I'd like to know what hit us in the first place. Way to find out. You think it's going to consume the city before we can stop it? I hope not. But the bigger it gets, the stronger 
its power. Whatever attacked us, it must feed on these dark energies. And it was able to catch us off guard. Didn't you feel anything? Not until it was too late. It's like they hit themselves on purpose. So that means they could still be hunting us. Well met, Observer. Loot feared the worst about you. While you encouraged her not to lose hope, I am sure. In a way. Do you know what did this to us? I must apologize. I have no insight to offer there. It's clear it was no random explosion. And that's not the end of the bad news. There's no sign of Corvo anywhere. He must have perished in the blast. Whatever happened to him, we're cut off from the Order now. But reinforcements must be on their way by now, yes? And Donovan's here. Oh, yes. You had best find him. We have no other option than to regroup. I am sure his help will prove invaluable. It seems you fear for your life, Observer. You're even eager to cooperate with the Shadeless. Much harder to fulfill our duties if we all end up dead. May the Shaper guide your hand. Swimming in armor is not much fun.
Eldar. Will you please finish what you started, if you can? Don't you doubt us. They were just lucky. So you better be. Be what? You do as I say. You know why we're here. Ha! <laughs> Your obsession with the other one, yes. How will you make that? Shut up, fools. You dare insult us! Sister, it must be them. And I still can't sense their aura. Hey, you two. Did we interrupt something? Just kill him. <laughs> we'll play with our new toys. See how strong they are. You'll find out. <laughs> then maybe you can join us. You want to, we know it. Never! They're useless. Destroy them quickly, then find me. Quickly? No. We need to see what this new body can do. Every kind of pain you can inflict. Don't die too soon. But do scream! <laughs> I feel their auras now. They're too strong. We need to get away from here. Sister, I can't see it now. These creatures, they're the Chimera. What? their minds. What matters now is that we left them behind. They're still near them. It's stalking behind us. It's frightening. understand that's what they want what if we lose control what if we transcend if that's what it takes so be it we'll take them down with us i swear to the keepers i'm with you sister mercy. no mercy for the yellow only hide <laughs> don't just stand there show us what you've got we offer you one thing, an exciting death. Exciting for us! <laughs> Too far. We might have a chance. 
ended up here. Whether out of fear or desperation, she's trying to consume my aura again. Sister, let me help you. Before it's too late. wanted the nightmare to end. There was no going back. Almost there! Almost there! Mama! Papa! Mama! Bear! No! Go! Find loot! Save her! Save! Run! Papa! No, Papa. No! No! No, get away from her! Mama! Mama! You would never hurt her! That was not my father! It can't be! Loot! She's in danger. I have to get back. She never told me. I see why now. She meant to protect me from what she saw. Mom. Papa. No one deserves such a fate. Poor Raya. She carried it alone all this time. Where's Mama? And Papa? Where are they? 
They... Loot. It's just us now. Loot. Loot, please. Please, I know. We have to run. We have to find somewhere safe. We can't go. We can't be alone. I'm not strong enough, sister. I'll be strong together. We'll always have each other. I promise. There she is. Briar, are you finally back to your senses? Sister, I was so worried. I thought for a moment. Finally. I was about to think my efforts on your behalf wasted. What? Where am I? Layton. You're a damned fool. 
Do you know what could have happened? We had no other choice. I did what I had to. No. There was another choice you could have made. Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. Or it is chosen for them. I'm amazed the Shadeless let you live. Donovan. He came to our aid. He was not the only one. You need too much help. Perhaps my confidence in you was misplaced. But I suppose I'll have to make do with what the Keepers have given me. Where is Donovan now? I lost track of him when I went after you two. But unlike you, it looks like he could take on a Transcendent. So it is true. The transcended. To think that those were chimeras once. Like us. Loot. You said they disappeared. They changed. I have never witnessed the transcendence of a chimera myself. The Order prevents it with any means possible. I've read reports. But nothing like this. This? Is something more. Could it be the result of the aura you felt on the bridge? It must be. They were taken beyond their limit. I felt their suffering. Who are they? It hardly matters now. Whoever they were, they're gone. My concern lies elsewhere. Transcended are known not to last long. Their power should have consumed them by now. And yet they didn't show any sign of decay. Maybe the tear feeds them. All the more reason to seal it. If only we knew how. I hate to say it, but it looks like you will have to improvise after all. Fine. But we will do things our way. Go now. Don't make me regret putting faith in you. And take this. It should be of some help as you make your way back to the surface. Thank you, Leda. And not just for your gift. Prevailed. Only by being reckless. Again. We couldn't run. And Leighton himself told us, after all, we're improvising. If you put it that way.
What's this haze? Something unnatural. Is that a child? Sister, I, I don't know. There's no human aura I can feel. You may not sense her, but I saw her with my own eyes. See her. to her rage and draw on her power. Did he mean to kill us? He did warn us about transcendence after all. Or did he have another plan for us? They're fighting. Donovan's hurt. And Briar is lost in her fury. I have to hurry. Before it's too late for either us.
was corrupted. Your heart stayed true. Nothing could make you break your promise. You're too stubborn for that. And I will never let you go. Get back, child. your sister anymore. Move away from her or I won't be able to protect you. is where the three lead me. And their divine will led me here today, to these two sisters. There we were, at the mercy of the Order of the Ashen Blade. At the mercy of Sir Donovan. No one in the Order ever said that he was involved in our rescue. And he made no mention of any of this. Why? Maybe he thought that we would bear a grudge against him. Or maybe he did not want to open old wounds. Do we owe our lives to Lord Dougal then? Your Grace, the girl already carries the taint of corruption. As for her sister, I'm afraid she won't survive the night. I know, Sir Donovan, but there's still hope for them. Do you mean to? The decision to give birth to the new Chimera is never taken lightly. But their bond did halt the spread of the corruption. We can't ignore that. And we can't spare any effort. There are too many lives at stake. I see. Your Grace. The invasion was stopped. Survivors are being tended to. Very good. The time has come for us to return to Doran. Make sure that the corrupted girl is properly restrained. Be zealous, but don't forget your piety. She is in great suffering. I will take care of this little one. As your grace commands. The road is long, but the three have granted me their power. I will make sure that her soul does not cross the veil. Not yet. And so began our journey to Dora. To the headquarters of the Order. When we finally woke up, we had been reborn as a Chimera. They told us we had been given a chance to carry on. 
and avenge our parents' death. That's why we can't transcend. She needed to focus her rage, her corrupted blood. Oh, and you know an awful lot about my blood, don't you? I know now, shadeless. I saw it in my nightmare. I remember. You were there. So, it finally came to your mind, Briar. You were ready to put me down, weren't you? I was just another corrupted. Why did you hesitate? It's your fault! What I did to loot was on your head! It's because of you we're like this! Sister... Briar, I owe you an apology. Do not apologize! We're not done here! We need to talk. No! Our swords will do the talking! Very well. I've never been good with words anyway. But know one thing, I won't make this easy for you. I wouldn't ask for anything less. You should have killed me. It's your sworn duty, is it not? I have never taken a life with a light heart. And I didn't wish for anything like this to happen to the two of you. You talk like you are fit. Satisfied now? No. But Lute's right. This is useless. Things are not as easy as they look, Briar. If you ever find yourself in my position, you shall face some tough choices, and you'll make mistakes. Do you have nothing to offer but platitudes? Sister. I came here to save you. Even if you don't want me to. We can't understand why they sent us on this mission. We're doing everything we can, but we are not ready. You're getting stronger, that's clear. 
And you still have untapped potential. Great. But the more you express it, the more you risk losing it all. And do you have any wisdom to impart in that regard? I am not here to chastise you, or teach you temperance. You must learn that yourself. But you saw what happened to your comrades. Did you know they had transcended? I needed to ascertain that. Clearly, there's no more room for doubt. What I meant to say is that you should have transcended as well by now. No scholar of the Order could explain why you have not. Briar is different from the other knights. She is, but... I know where this is going. Stronger or not, we've needed your help twice already. I don't know if I'll be able to assist you again. Listen, I am stronger and more experienced than you. But I may not have what it takes to see this through. And we do. Only time and your resolve will tell. But you have to take responsibility for your power. For who you are. Understood. <laughs> we will not break your trust, Donovan. I promise. We both do. Now go. You have not made this easy for me either. I need time to recover. May the Shaper guide your hand and keep it firm. That shield is massive. I'll get nowhere while it holds against my bloat. Greetings, sisters. What news do you bring to me? We ran into Donovan. He still eludes me. But I see he has taken a certain interest in you. He found a way to help us again, regain our focus. Which means you found yourselves close to your limit. You should be flattered that the famed Shadeless is mentoring you. But I can't help but be concerned about your instability. Donovan told us that we should already have transcended by now. Is that supposed to be reassuring? But it is surprising no less. Just don't take this ability of yours as a reason to grow cocky. Understood? We know nothing about it. Just as we ignore what really transpired here, before our arrival. In that regard, is there something you should know? Hmm? We may have elected to share some information with you. Loot, are you sure? We hate to be kept in the dark, don't we? It's time. We have to trust someone. What do you mean? Speak! I have sent... Echoes of the past... Scattered throughout the city. They might hold the answer we seek. You know that to hide such information equates to high treason. Were I to report this, you would be executed. Luckily enough, we have much more pressing matters at hand. I mean to confer with the Shadeless. You shall proceed on your own. May the torchbearer light our paths. May her light never fade. I never imagined anything like this. All those crystals and ice. Hightown is completely in their grip. If we needed 
any further proof of how awful things are up here. from the carriage was here. And it wasn't to them. The chimeras were here too. The transcendent was with it? No, it was before they transformed. They were chasing it. We are following the same trail they found. such power. There's no doubt it's our prey. Though I'm not sure who is the hunter here. Just like you and your shade, hunting one another for so long. That Damien killed so many people just to motivate you in your own hunt. Oh, Amina, if that's not twisted, I don't know what is. Shut up. Jaden. But you had your own fun, didn't you? You two were made for each other. Take that back, or I'll make you regret it. Easy, easy, my girl. You are a soft target for jests. I can't resist. You know they are my greatest sin in the eyes of the judge. And you know I loathe the twisted soul I bear as my burden. Don't fret. He's not needed. Even my brother can rest for now. What do you mean? Have you found anything? Look over there. That crater. We don't even have to gaze into the ether for clues. Come, let's not waste any more time. I don't think this is a good idea. We should report to the Observer first. Moreover, a third Chimera is supposed to join us, remember? Bah! A low-ranked novice shaking in their armor. Who needs them? I'm not holding their hand when something here needs to feel my blight. That's not what I and my brother Jared volunteered for. Always so eager to prove yourselves. If there's a sin you should atone for, it's pride. Armin and Jaden. So these were the knights that came before us. Expert warriors, in firm control of their shades. Unlike us, you mean? I mean, if these experienced controlled chimeras fell to this creature, how can we hope to succeed when they... Hear her, Donovan. Whatever it is that keeps us going, I mean to hold on to it. A mauler. We have never faced one in battle before. Be careful, sister. You must underestimate the strength.
city to feed upon. You're here. Greetings, sisters. I'm glad to see that the judge has not yet welcomed you in his halls. We don't plan to visit him anytime soon. Layton, have you... Found the Shadeless. Unfortunately, I have not succeeded in my purpose. How I wish I was as interesting to him as the two of you. But alas, I am only human. Trust me, Observer. You should enjoy your condition while it lasts. What about you? Have you picked up that ethereal trail of yours? Not exactly. It was the auras of the other chimera that I felt this time. They were chasing some creature. They meant to stop it. Whatever it was, it... L you think it was the thing that turned them? It's only logical. And it's still out there. It's just a question of time. Sooner or later, we will face it ourselves. I can't help but ponder over Donovan's words about you and your resistance to the transcendence. I hope they prove true for all our sakes. The ice seems stable enough. This could be quite the shortcut. It will be quicker, but I doubt it will be safer. We left safety behind once we set foot here. Come on. See what it is.
stop till we have destroyed it. Sorry, sister. Such devastation. And there was something really twisted about those two. This is bad. It's only a trace, but even so, I can feel a great power. This one is far stronger than the other two. Strong enough to cause them to transcend, too? This could really be the missing piece of the puzzle. <laughs> What's going on? The only trade I picked up. Oh, Nina and Jaden. They got here too, didn't they? <laughs> it's even better than I hoped. Glory awaits us. What are you babbling about? I speak of the wondrous prey we get to hunt. I can't wait to face it in battle. I owe it to my brother Jared. Have you lost the little mind you have? It's a transcended. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a challenge, finally! You are too arrogant. We don't even know who they are, or were. Anyway, there's a reason the Order does not let us transcend. <sighs> Lose sanity, deny the Keepers, blah blah blah. They fear it, I won't. To vanquish such a foe will be a heroic victory. There will be no glory in this fight, you idiot. We'll be slaughtered. Think for once. You know that all transcended are deeply unstable. You sly snake. You want to fight it when it's weak, or wait for its death. Yeah, I spit on your cowardice. Like your murderous shade, you seek an easy kill over glorious battle. You say something like that again, I'll make you join your dear brother. <laughs> That's my old Armina. All right, all right. 
We'll follow your plan. That's it. We shall wait for the Transcendent to deteriorate. Then you'll have your glorious battle, when there's hope of winning. Amina was afraid. And rightly so. Anyway, her plan didn't work. Eventually, they were overwhelmed. That's what I felt on the bridge. It must be when she and Jaden transcended. It can't be a coincidence. This was planned. So the transcended was meant to unleash their power here in Ilden. Someone wanted them to. And Not by three chimeras. We were sent here just to pretend that the city could be purged. But what about the reinforcements? It could just be another lie. We have to find out if Leighton is the liar. He knows something he has not told us. He must. Please, sister. Don't be reckless. If he is involved, why would he have helped us? I don't know. But this time, he'll be the one to give up his secrets. It's time that we get some answers. Kill you! I will rip off your limbs and scatter! 
to your innards! Then I will torture the soul of your sister forever! Yes! She will become one with us! Our little doll! <laughs> oh, I so want to play with her! Yes, I am sorry. This was our final battle. It was glorious to fight at your side. I think I now understand why he protected them. So this was their crystal. Yes. The tether that bound their souls together. The keystone and the fulcrum of every chimera. Nothing's left of them. Why is the crystal still here? I do not know. The properties of these crystals, their source, the order keeps them a secret. It's strange. I feel drawn to it. Maybe it can grant us more power. Back, child. <sighs> no! Stop! It's not what it looks like! My sister! She's not dangerous! She can get better! I will help her! That thing isn't your sister anymore. Move away from her, or I won't be able to protect you. Donovan, we didn't know you were here. Don't worry about these peasants, sir. We were about to finish with them. They are no longer your concern. Leave. Leave them to us. We've got a score to settle with these monsters. He can deal with the monster if he wants. We'll take care of the girl.
No survivors, no witnesses. We don't make the rules, sir. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a job to do. No! Friar! She's scared! <laughs> Butchers. Yet bitch attacked us, and her sister was defending her. Why did he shield her? Whose side is he on? We have wasted enough time already. We will finish what we started. Look, my men didn't mean to hit you, but you're a chimera. You'll heal, yes? Hmm. Let's go. Let him have them. There'll be other girls around here. Is there no limit to your foul dishonor? You disgrace the order and your duty. We're just soldiers. Our very lives are on the line against these monsters. So we take what we can, while we can, including worthless village girls. Oh, wait. Is it because of your daughter? Yes, I've heard the rumors. You're pathetic, shameless. Enough. Let's get... You. You killed him. Judge, have mercy. Run! Come on, before he gets us too. Is this what really happened? is where the three lead me. And their divine will led me here today, to these two sisters. Enough! Lord Dougal, I was about to report the situation to you. Stop playing the judge, Knight. You are here to purge the spawn of chaos, not to preach to the troops. And certainly not to slay them out of a fit of rage or self-righteousness. They are not worthy to fight for the Order. They're tools and resources, and you're not meant to waste them. I am tired of this already. <sighs> At least it looks like my trip was not wasted. The arrival of Grandmaster Dougal was altered in Briar's memory. What did it really lead to? I know this hurts. Briar, 
I wouldn't ask you to endure it any longer. But we need the truth. We're almost there. You saw them? I watched them with great interest. One should never question the design of the Keepers. Who could have thought that we'd find something so peculiar here? The way this little girl managed to soothe her corrupted sister. I want them carried to Doran. I will get to work immediately. There's... You, you can't do that. She's only a girl. Don't make them suffer. This... Worry not. The little one won't remember a thing. And I can make sure that the corrupted remains... docile. But I don't need to justify my actions to you. This is not about you. Or your shade. No! I won't let you! You won't let me? Me? Know your place, Ashen Knight. You may not have got what you wanted, but I gave you what you asked for. She is still with you. As for these two, they shall help me with my research, which is more than they could have accomplished in their worthless lives. Now be gone. Ah. Your Grace. The invasion was stopped. The villagers. The torchbearer leads them across the Vale, as you ordered. Good. Then the time has come to return to Dorin. Make sure that the corrupted is properly restrained. As for her sister, take her to my carriage. I will take care of her myself. It is imperative that she reaches the headquarters alive. As your grace commands. This is impossible. None of it. The order. The things we were told. That we believed. This was all a lie to keep her under control. Chains which have bound her for years. Chains that she will fight to break. Her mind won't survive it. The monastery, at last. The only way to the tears through these halls. Friar, are you sure you're all right? You woke up on your own, but you've hardly uttered the word since. Are you angry about what we discovered? Of course I'm angry, Lute. But we already knew this sent us to our deaths. Know that we were manipulated from the very beginning. It sets me free somehow. We owe nothing to these people. No obedience, no fealty, nothing. Only retribution. Now, where is that craven weasel? Leighton, show yourself, you coward! Sis! 
said, please calm down. He was not even there. We only discovered one part of the truth. I'll wager he knows the rest. How can you be so calm about this? It was your life they took. They did this to you. How can you be calm? How? If they hadn't, I would have lost you. We are together. I won't be angry about that. <sighs> but I do want the truth. So you're right. We should find later. What happened? The terror of it. It's altering the very fabric of reality. I wonder if the monastery shall hold up. And I do not wish to find out. Let's get moving. After all we've been through, I'd rather not be buried alive here. this mean? Lute, tell your sister to calm down before she does something she regrets. It, it will be easier if you just answer our questions. All we want is the truth. Please. Did you know? Did you know that Dougal warped my memories? That he had me think I killed my own sister? Our rebirth, Leighton. Time we have lived a lie. Secrets, lies, the very lifeblood that runs in the veins of the Order. Blood that stains everyone and everything that it touches. But why did Dugan forge Briar's memories? To keep you both on a leash. To manipulate you. That's how he treats his subjects. You talk like you had no part in all this. You're just an accomplice. Believe me, my sins are many, but I had no part in your rebirth. I was still climbing up the ranks of the Order at the time. So what do you know? Just that Dougal was intrigued at your discovery, your nature, your bond. So we were just Fascination. Who knows what he thought he could accomplish with you, or through you. But then you proved just too fickle, restless. You just weren't worth the effort, so you were discarded. Failed experiment. Now I can see why we were given this mission. As for Armina and Jaden, I assume they were just out of luck. So you think that we were all sent here to die? With everything that we have discovered so far, I find it hard to deny now. 
Dougal just needed someone disposable to reclaim Ilden. But what did you do to earn your place here? Me? Oh, Lord Dougal wanted to reward my service. It may sound baffling to you, but... The dare! Briar, loot. We are not safe here. There's more to discuss, but this is not the place or time. How convenient. Just as you were about to reveal your hand. We will speak again soon. I swear it. I will stay true to my word. We did it your way, Lute. But if that monster shows up again, know that I won't back down. I fear that will be inevitable. In the meantime, let us look for our way into the cathedral, shall we? The trace of an aura still radiates below us. Oh, wait. I can feel the chimeras as well. They were here, together. Greetings. As you can see, I stood true to my word. Speak then, before the whole monastery crumbles over our heads. What are your secrets? What were you keeping from Dougal? No more half-truths, Leighton. Let us say that I have an agenda that goes beyond my duty as an observer, and a duty that does not lie with the Order. You're a traitor. After all you've witnessed here, you talk of treason to me. I am, and I always have been, an agent of the Triarchy. The Order of the Ashen Blade was created as the armed wing of the Triarchy. But the Order has constantly called for more independence, more power. For centuries, both sides have fought in secret to gain the upper hand. I was recruited as a spy in Rhyme. I was just a humble monk then. My task was to infiltrate the Order by becoming an observer. You've lived a lie yourself for so many years. Yes. Watching. Waiting. Then a few dreadful words began to echo through the halls of Doran. The solstice of souls. The spawn of chaos struck, tearing the veil. The keepers watched as horror spilled into the world. And so came the solstice of souls. I kept an ear out, but I heard nothing more than fearful whispers. Eventually, I decided to try my luck with the Shadeless. Donovan knew no more than I, which troubled him deeply. So he decided to confront Dougal himself. I haven't seen him since. And when word of a major crisis in Ilden reached the headquarters, Dugo trusted me with such an important mission. Apparently he had found out about my other line of work. So we're truly in this together. Indeed. And if Dugo really means to bring forth this solstice of souls, then we must stop him at all costs together. You didn't 
know about his presence here, did you? No, and I can't explain it. But with the Grand Master involved, I can't but fear for the Shadeless's life as well. Anyway, I showed my guards. It's your turn now. I don't care for your allegiance. You're a spy. I don't trust you. Sister, we must join forces with Leighton. There's no other way. I know. I do not deserve your trust. But I will help, if you let me. <laughs> Fine, Observer. It looks like we're on the same side. For now. Judge's wisdom, dear sisters. Got rid of it. I wonder what horrors we still have to face. Chaos be damned. He found us. You thought you could make it without me, did you? Demian, I didn't call you forth. What is. You let your guard down, so here I am. You should not strain yourself so much. Something bad could happen to you. <gasps> what? A transcendent! Amina, you bitch! You were always stupid, but this is beyond stupid. It's suicidal! Demian, enough! He was supposed to be weaker now, unstable. How is this even possible? So you had a grand plan, and it was a complete failure, wasn't it? Obviously, that dimwit Jaden followed it to the letter. While blabbering about his little brother's honor, I'm sure. Am I right? Focus, you fool! Give me your strength! So now I'm the fool. We <laughs> stand no chance against a transcendent. Can't you see? Judge, have mercy. This is the end. They didn't know that the transcendent wouldn't get any less stable here. Well, we learned it the hard way ourselves. Even now, with the power we have awakened. You're not sure we can make it, are you? But you know what? I don't care. Should we have even the slightest chance to succeed, we have to make it count. Of course. It's all we can do. It's what we must do. Such whining does not do you justice, Armina. I assume your plan was doomed from the start. But do not despair. We are taking the lead now. It's time to fight the Transcended, head on! Oh, I've been craving such a battle. Jared, are you ready, my brother? I gave my life for this, for the Ashen Blade! Yes, that's the spirit. 
We're here to earn a glorious victory, or a glorious death, the likes of which few can even dream of! To charge into battle like that? <laughs> Typical of those fools. And I thought they lost their minds when they transcended. Those two were never sane. To think they would just win or die. They could not imagine what would happen to them. Yes, but how? Did they just go beyond their limit as they fought? I don't know. But I'm sure that the Transcended played a big role in this. Why? Why are you attacking us? You'll just die, like all the others. But wait, you're just like we were. such a bond? I hope not. It does not feel right. What reason could there be behind their rebirth? If only we knew who we are actually dealing with. Maybe later know something useful. We shall ask him. For good or ill, we're getting more and more answers. And just as many questions. It looks like Armina and Jaden were spared, only to be forced to transcend. Like playthings? This is monstrous. It's not that different than what Dougal did to us, if you ask me. It's taking us too long, Loot. I know. It's not safe. Let's go, sister. elevator. There's no way out. I don't like it. As long as we're here, we're an easy target. Oh. What was that? Your bad feeling. It was justified. They're here. I feel them right. Let's get rid of them. lies just ahead. We must find Donovan. He faced Jugal, 
So he must know something about all this. You may have to be very soon, Victor. He's me. I can feel his aura. But it's different somehow. Why is it so hard to read? It's like something... or someone that didn't want me to. Girl, why did he summon her? I'm not sure he did it on purpose. If this is bad, very bad. Be on your guard, sister. Chaos be damned, loot. What is going on? The shade's aura. It permeates Donovan's completely. She's taking him over. I can barely sense him. Donovan, are you back in control? Briar, Loot, I'm so sorry. I tried to resist her, but even now, I don't have much time. Your shade, was that your daughter? Hannah. This is all my fault. Forgive her, if you can. I can't understand. Are you even aware of what you've done? It was...
was the only way. Dougal, he had us brought here. The relic hidden inside the cathedral. He knew. But the things you did, the things you said to us. You. You could elude me, shadeless? Scurrying around the ruins of this useless dump like a cowardly mouse. But your time is gone. Slide back to oblivion and let her rise again. We have a whole new world to forge. As for the two of you, you're just worthless pawns, insignificant in the grand scheme of things. If you can keep up, you'll witness the dawn of our rule. Everything you fought to save will be destroyed. And you will suffer the same fate. that congratulations are in order. I thought you were just a fraud, you know? But you've surprised me. Maybe I was wrong about you. Is there still hope for you to embrace your true self? You're insane! What are you rambling about? We are not here to parley with the likes of you. You're a monster! Where is God? Such insolence. Do you even realize how powerful we've become? Can't you see that she made me a goddess? We will be divine beings among mortals. Perfect beyond human understanding. I even considered the possibility of saving your worthless lives. But no, you had the opportunity to be purified, and you squandered it. You know, one thing I cannot tolerate is a lack of gratitude. It is decided, then, you will die an impure being. Your suffering may actually take you close to your limit, and you may even taste perfection before you are slain, only to know that you will never be worthy. Then. We won't be able to help her as long as she is here. To be beaten by a lonely chimera. Jaden and Jared were such a disappointment. <laughs>
You're not trying to stop me. No. I know that you're not lusting for power. But it will be up to us to help Donovan. To stop the Solstice of Souls. Without this crystal, we are simply not strong enough to do it. Mm. Moreover, if not for the one we got from Jared and Jaden, we would have never found out the truth about our rebirth. There's still much we do not know. Maybe this will let us find out. And if it hurts, I'll be by your side. I'm counting on you, sister.
I know what I must do. She can't do it on her own. She needs me. Sir Donovan! Lord Dougal put this part of the dungeon under quarantine. He said that no one should go in or out. The corruption! I am an ashen knight. Your concerns are ill-placed, soldier. But His Grace's orders were very clear. Listen, boy. Even though you mean well, you are wasting my time. Give way now. You are dismissed. I... I see. Let me open the door for you, sir. You... Bear your things at me, girl. I cannot blame you. It is my fault that you and your little sister are here. Still alive. Waiting for a sentence that is far worse than death. Lord Dougal will transform you into a chimera. Like me. Like us. He says that you and your sister hold a great potential. That the Order will give you a new life and a new purpose. <laughs> His words are always so full of fervor. So convincing. But the price for his actions is never his to pay. You, your sister, my Hannah, you are so different, and yet you were all doomed because of Dougal. Because of me, the things can be different this time. I can still free you, spare you both of this, on my no rebirth, no chimera, just peace in death. <laughs> I do not make a decision with such a light heart. You will see your sister again beyond the veil. Soon, it would be naive to think that Dougal would just let her go. Sadly, this is all I can do for you. Farewell. And forgive me if... Hmm? Is that your sister's name? But how... How can you resist the corruption? The light of the torchbearer. Sometimes it is so hard to catch sight of it in the darkness. But I can see it here, today. This... this fire within you. Don't let anyone extinguish it, girl. Briar. She's always been stronger than she can even imagine. If Donovan had killed her, it would have been all for naught. But since he spared her, I will finally witness my death. Your Grace, the supplicants are here. The one tainted by corruption is awake, as you requested. Pardon my asking, Your Grace, but is this safe? We have never used a corrupted as a host for a living soul. Do not doubt our purpose. The Shaper inspires us. Now hold her fast. Her reactions might be lively. Oh, mighty keepers of the cosmos, heed the call of your humble servant. Guide his hand in the realization of your grand design. So long ago, you shielded us from the spawn of chaos. In our darkest hour, you sent your chimeras among us, so that they would protect us and deliver us from the evil that would consume our world. But the vigil of the chimeras never ends. moments of my life. It feels 
so distant to watch like this. As if it were happening to someone else. Where is Briar? In spite of the corruption, she did understand. That scream. It must have been horrible for her then. And it can't be any better now. Torchbearer, you who like the way and teach us virtue, walk alongside the supplicant I bring before you. And with her soul, ignite the sacred crystal I hold in my hands. <coughs> Judge, you who condemn the flaws of our mortality. With each step I make, cleanse the sins of these two souls and prepare them for their new existence in your service. Shaper, you who bring forth the end to usher in a new beginning, bind these souls, shape them into an instrument of your divine will, and have them rise again as a chimera of the Ashen Blade. <laughs> While the mortal body must perish, that which is immortal is bound to be reborn. These nightmares, they have brought back so many memories. I tried to bury them beneath my anger, my rage, but it was not enough. I am but a foolish experiment, a failed one at that, a trivial mistake to forget and forsake. If only it had just been about me, but no. I had to drag Lute down into this darkness. I do not deserve to have her by my side. If I cease to exist, she would finally be free. This is for the best. Sister! L Lute, you are here with me. Even now. Of course I am. I always will be. Briar, we cannot undo what was done to us. It's a scar that won't heal. Because we are that scar. But we have to get back now. We have to wake up. You... You are far stronger than me. To live again that pain, that horror. I thought I could withstand it. I was wrong. Our deaths, our rebirth. In the end, it's all been for nothing. And now that our souls are lost, only a monster remains out there. Just like the ones we meant to stop. But this, we cannot defeat. Don't be afraid of who we are. How can you even say that? You have always feared the horror within us. But then you showed me. You taught me. It does not matter what they made us. The only thing that matters is what we do with it. And if it takes a monster to put an end to this nightmare, so be it. Just think of Leighton's words. 
Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. It's for the best loot. We have to let go. I don't care about what he said. He knows nothing of us. He does not know that we always have a choice. We can choose to fight. You really are the strongest among us. It's you who teaches me. Every day. You're right. We do have a choice, as long as we are together. We're not going down. They want to get another monster. They shall have one. No! No! They too fell to their own power. All is truly lost now. You're really sane again. We are. Oh, and apologies for whatever we may have just done to you. You transcended. You did it. There's no doubt about it. Nothing escapes the gaze of the Observer. But you're not telling Dougal, are you? I'm sure he would never expect this to happen. To his failed experiment? That's a way to put it. That said, it's good to have you back. I mean it. Come now. We have much to discuss. I must say, I'm truly impressed. What you accomplished is unprecedented in the history of the Ashen Blade. However, we're not the only ones to have overcome transcendence. Donovan did it as well. And this means that he can be saved too. You're right, Loot. Enough pats on the back. We must reach him as soon as possible. And seal the dare. All your efforts will be for naught if we don't deal with what's overhead. I still can't understand how it could open in the first place. Or why here, of all places. Three the mighty battles fought and won by the champions of man. Three the sacred cities that were built in those hallowed places. The Canticle of the Keepers. Ilden is one of the sacred cities, right? It is. Which means that the Solstice of Souls was especially strong here. It must have left something behind. Something powerful enough. To open the dare. Donovan hinted at a relic hidden within the cathedral. He said that Dougal knew. Could it be something that the transcended feel drawn to? Indeed. And you may hear that call yourselves. It's good to know in advance at least. Come, Lute. It's time for us to go. Don't let me keep you, sisters. I'll follow when it's safe. Are you ready, Loot? Ready, and no longer afraid. We have been given another chance. Let's make it count.
back. Don't worry. I can handle this and more. It won't give up. I'd be disappointed if it did. Now it's our turn. form for long. Don't be hasty, sister. We should be grateful that we can control it, even for a short time. You may be right. I want more power to destroy the Order. But we can't afford to transcend permanently. Our fate, loot. There's no escape from it now. That is not an option for me, Briar. And I know it's not for you either. It's time then. This ends now. We made it. Raya! Are you alright? The crystal in my chest. Something is wrong. So the tear is doing the same, only at much larger scale. It is blending our world with the essence of chaos, after all. And it opened here, through this massive crystal. The relic. The statue must have kept it hidden. And dormant somehow. But Jugal knew, and he sacrificed the whole city to ignite it. He will pay for this. We need to find Donovan and Hannah first. They must be near. Then let's look for them. <laughs> Are you well? We shouldn't give chase if... It's only pain. This is more important.
What? What happened to me? I felt a great power coursing through me. It burned me, purified my body and soul, shaped me anew. And that burden over my soul, that stain, it has... Demian, he's no longer there. I am whole. I am finally free. Or maybe we are free, my sweet Armina. The two of us, closer than ever. <laughs> so Donovan brought them here and did this to them. It was not his doing. It was Jubal's. They were all betrayed by him. And I can only feel pity now. For all of them. Arrgh! They're invulnerable! Let go, fiend! Javid, we need to break free, or they will turn us too! Hold on, brother! We will not fall to their dark power! The three will protect us from this heresy! Why do you resist? This is for your own good! We're not human, no matter what we pretend. We're something else completely, and we should be together! No one will tell us what to do! No one will hurt us again! beginning. It must have been excruciating. To think that we had no idea when we first met him here in Ilden. If only Armina had not taken him away from us. He managed to guide us here anyway. And if anyone can put an end to this now, it's you and I, Lute. The Solstice of Souls. So this is what it looks like. Later. I knew you couldn't be far behind. I must say, I am eager to get back to a more reliable reality. One with clearer concepts of up and down, at least. But I had to witness this with my own eyes. It seems we found your relic. A vestige from the first Solstice of Souls. Dougal devised how to awaken it, setting things in motion again. But he needed a spark to light the fire, didn't he? Exactly. So he planned for Donovan to transcend here in Ilden. He knew that the transcended would find its way to the relic eventually. So how bad is this? Bad to the point that it is... irreversible. And worse to the point that Ilden is but one of the three sacred cities. Oh no! If this crystal is what the canticle was referring to, there must be two more crystals in the run, and even in rain. The City of Light falls, and with it the Torchbearer. So the Shaper and the Judge are in danger, too. We must seal the tear here, and defend the other relics. I fear that we won't be able to protect both. Focus on the task at hand now. Only afterwards we will... Well, the mot body must perish. <coughs> that which is immortal is bound to be reborn, Dougal must be stopped. He wants to create a new world, but he will only destroy the one we have. Sir Donovan! We're here to help, if you let us. Please hold on. There must be a way. It's too late now. <laughs> My Hannah and I, we are doomed. 
I did my best to lead you here. It was all I could do, in spite of all my strength and pride. I have always been but a broken tool in the hands of the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade. He even used me to perpetrate a lie about your rebirth. I... I am sorry. Donovan, it does not matter now. You must. It's crystal. It's falling apart. I am sorry. I can't hold any longer. But you... Already. We are beyond redemption. I hope you can still give us oblivion. Then... Your true mission will begin. in store for us.
happen again? I don't understand. Donovan swallowed the crystal, not Briar. It is not her mind that I am sinking into. What? Where am I? It feels like I'm suffocating. Loot, can you hear me? What's going on? You're with me? Here? Then this can only mean one thing. Be at ease, sister. We may learn something here. Briar, this is what I saw when you had your nightmares. So this is what remains of Donovan's mind. But how could we both get pulled in? I think it's the relic. Its power binds us all. Whatever certainties we had, we can leave them behind now. My dear Hannah, I failed you. Everything I did, I did to keep you safe. But I could not protect you from this. Dad. Anna. Father, it is not your fault. You have to let me go. I... I can't. I will always watch over you. Mother and I... We will keep you safe. Grandmaster Dougal, I left the garrison without your leave. I am deeply sorry, Your Grace. Your departure was more than justified. You do not need to apologize. My regard for you goes beyond your role as Captain of the Guard. My daughter, Hannah, it won't be long before... I don't know what to do, Your Grace. The wisdom of the Keepers is beyond our grasp, Sir Donovan. And what looks most obvious to us may not be part of their design. Help me understand it, then, so that I can finally bid her farewell. You could do more than just accept this fate. The bond you share with your daughter is strong. Stronger than death itself. Your souls are intertwined. With the blessing of the Shaper, we can give you both a new start. As a chimera. That filthy schemer. He manipulated him into turning himself and Hannah into a chimera. He took advantage of his desperation. Just as he did with us. We, we made it. You made it, Hannah. <sighs> I am proud of you, my dear. Impressive work, Sir Donovan. I didn't think it possible such a short time after your rebirth. Now send her back. Your Grace, she's not well. <laughs> Men, restrain them. But the shade, it is unstable. Restrain them. No, Hannah, don't. <laughs> has always been in pain. Just as she said when she awoke as a transcended. Her suffering did not end when she died to become a shade. If Donovan had known, I wonder if Jewel was aware of the consequences. I doubt it even mattered to him. Anyway, that's the reason why Donovan never summons Hannah. That's why he became... 
Kaseitlas. You're late. The torchbearer wanders paths unknown. But eventually, her light finds its way to us all. Such words of wisdom. But I'm sure you did not summon me to show off your oratory skills. Listen, it's dangerous for me to talk with you. I can't see why. We're both valued and reliable members of the Ashen Blade. You've been asking too many questions, Observer. Dougal is growing wary of you and your constant meddling. He told me to keep an eye on you. Do you understand what that means? So tell me what you're looking for and what you want from me. I only wish that the Grand Master does not stray from his holy path. But I have heard troubling things, and made even more troubling deductions. I don't have time for this. What is it you think Dougal is up to? The solstice of souls. Worlds colliding. The spawn of chaos crossing the veil on a rampage. Would that not trouble you? Hmm. Old myths, idle gossip, disloyalty. These are the answers I got as I asked around. But judging from the look in your eyes, I believe your answer will be different. I don't have one, Observer. I know Dougal well enough. He is the reason I speak to you as an Ashen Knight. The cause of my daughter's never-ending suffering. And yet you've been his loyal servant for many years now. I took my oath to the Order, not to him. And Hannah. The least I can do is to make sure that her sacrifice means something. But Dougal's ambition... It has always troubled me, I admit it. If what you suspect is true... It is. And he knows I am prying into his secrets. That's why he asked you to investigate me. So what do you know? And most importantly, what will you do? Suffice to say that you know more than I. I will talk with Dougal, and I will stop him if need be. Judge is on our side. He must be. Are you sure this is the best way to address the Grand Master? I've never been one for subtlety. I wouldn't know any other way. He still thought that he could overcome all challenges. With a true heart and a firm hand. Righteous and uncompromising. Or just foolish. Anyway, what happened next led to the massacre of Ilden. There must be something else buried inside Donovan's mind. Then we need to find it. Sir Donovan, to what do I owe the pleasure of our visit? And the request for such secrecy. I wish to know more about the Solstice of Souls. I didn't think you would want anyone else to hear our conversation. Always so thoughtful. But you were not as discreet when you had your little chat with that Leighton. You mean to betray me. We both know this. You plan to unleash this solstice of souls. You are the one who betrays our very mission. And how can you be so naive? This world is beyond saving. You can't deny that I'm right. Look at you. Look at your daughter. Shadeless. Blasphemous madman. You did this to her. I did it because you would not accept your fate. Remember? I've believed your lies for far too long. Believe what you will. You have outlived your usefulness. The solstice of souls will bring a new start, whether you like it or not. Now, 
Cordelia, join us, if you please. Cordelia the Reaper. I knew that Dougal wouldn't confront me alone. Surprise, surprise. It's been a long time, Shadeless. Back to Duran already. I heard you were on a mission up north. Unluckily for you, it was just an old chimera. One that would not accept that their time had come. But you and me here, it's going to be a different story, no? You feed off the misery of your own kind. Like the vilest of scavengers. Shut up, you bastard! You don't deserve a place in Dougal's new world. Come on, Shadeless! Summon her! So you can have your sadistic pleasure. Never! Enough, Cordelia. Your services as a Reaper are no longer needed today. But why? This traitor deserves no mercy. And he won't have it. Look closely. You chipped his crystal. It won't be long before he transcends. All the more reason to end him, your grace. No, not yet. I have other plans for him. The Shadeless will do my bidding once again, for the last time. As you wish, your grace. Stop! You don't belong here. You have no right to his memories. Not that it matters anyway. We'll all be gone soon. Father and I, you too, your wretched order. This world and all its filth. There's just one last thing that I need to do. Father, I forgive you. You can rest now. I will relieve you of your burden. Do not resist. Do not oppose my will. No! No justice. There is nothing to gain in all this death. Learn as we go. 
We must absorb the crystal. We'd be dead anyway if we don't.
Judge, forgive me. What happened? My head hurts and spins in equal measure. Ah, ah. Briar! Loot! Is it you? It happened again. Yes. But do not worry for us, Maiden. Not for now, at least. How do you feel? Do you remember? The last thing I recall was Donovan making his way to the relic. Poor soul. I can't but feel pity for him. And even for his daughter. Anyway, then came a blast and I blacked out. I suppose that's when you... Transcended? Yes. Thank you. One terror gave in to the destruction within her. We had no other choice. Between death and transcendence, a chimera chooses death. Those sounded like wise words. At the time, it looks like I was the fool. But the dare, the dare is no more. How did you seal it? We didn't exactly seal it. We drained the relic. So that now, that power lies within you. This fool. Our corrupted blood must be helping us contain it. We do not know exactly how, before how long, or what would happen if we turn back to our previous selves. The situation is dire, and the danger is great. Yet again, what you did, I can't but thank the Keepers for... No. I have to thank you for it. So what do you propose? What course of action should we take now? Hide. Survive. Try to... adapt to this new condition of yours. While you draw breath, there is still hope for this world and for Dougal's plan to be thwarted. The two things are strictly related. As for me, I will send word to Rhyme. I will set up my stage once more. They shall be surprised to see that I still stand. Or simply disappointed. 
Won't it be dangerous for you? They would come for me anyway. I'd rather be their first target, instead of you. I can buy you some time. If things go my way, I may even be able to help you. But I can't make any promises. At least promise that you'll be careful. I will. May the Keepers watch over you, my friends. I'd never see you again. The torchbearer led you back to me at a most convenient time. I have a very important message for you to deliver. There you go now. To rhyme. I took it for a corrupted creature, and my instinct got the best of me. After all, who could roam these ruins, if not one that carries their taint? You must have a good reason to be here, alive. Cordelia? Cordelia the Reaper? I'm sorry, my lady, but the chimeras that came before you, they're no more. I'm afraid you're too late. Or maybe I was right on time. What lies did you write in that letter? Where are they? Don't be so reckless, my sweet reaper. Once the Torchbearer takes them, the dead can only tell us so much. I will have a friendly conversation with our devoted observer. Well, you give chase to Briar and Loot. They won't stand a chance, Your Grace. <clears throat> Approach them with that attitude, and you'll face the judge in no time. It's not time yet. Follow them. Learn what they're capable of. Then report back to me. As your grace commands. So, Leighton, I assume your letter was addressed to me. Speak then. What did you wish to tell the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade? You know that you were meant to die here, with all the others. Did you expect that I would fall for any of your pretentious tales? Let us speak the truth for once, then. They stopped you, Dougal. Admit it. The outcasts did what no one believed possible, including me. Those peasants did exceed my expectations, yes. But all they have accomplished is just a small setback. A detour from a path that cannot be abandoned. But why? What did you hope to accomplish here? You would not understand, or anyone else in your sanctimonious triarchy. But you do not need to. It suffices that you recite your beloved canticle. The three cities still stand to this day, 
for the glory of the Keepers. Are those... tears? Of Adoran? And Rhyme? Dougal, you madman! What have you done? The solstice of souls is upon us. 